here we have a satin cup or bottle we can create a hole or just here cup like this but remember we have created the hole here so here we have a slow we can create a u-shape slow Okay, here we have an empty cup, and here we have our shaped straw cup here. So let's pour the water and see what will happen at uh, this level, and at uh, this level where the straw reaches, and at the upper level. What about this level? Nothing can come. What about this level? It can come. The level where the U shape slow starts. The upper level, yeah, it can. Evacuate the water for water. Till the water thins from the bottle. So why? Once the water reaches the level of the slope. The pressure inside the straw will push the water to come out and it will continue because the pressure outside which will still and continue to press on the level of the water. I hit here. Now See what will happen. It can burn. It can burn. See? It can burn. Now, let us try to put the water. Let's see. Okay, we got here the water. So let's try to put on fire and see. You see, nothing can happen. Why? So here you go. Want to color the water? And the poor hot water. All right. 
hot water here cold water cold water hot water if i mix them will they be mixed or not let's see I can use a certain card like this to to cover hot water. This is hot water. Try this. And try to try to move our our card. Wow, let's see. Wow, they can't mix. Why? Because the density of these waters are different. The cold water has um, a high density rather than the hot water which is having a low density. So it will stay separate, no, no mix, you see. Yeah, perfect. Another experiment is this one. You see plastic bag with water. I can introduce some pin materials and uh, the water will not fall out. See? <laughs> Why? Two reasons. One is a friction force between this pencil and the, the plastic bag. Second reason is surface tension of the water. Well, here we have a bottle. I can put the water. Okay, see here. I have a straw. The level of water is here. Our two straws. This one I will introduce till inside. I will try to close. The small one on just on a level of water. So we can create a fountain in this bottle. Let's hey, try to boil.
Well, what is the phenomena in this? When I close this system, this one is open. When I blow the air inside, so the air give out the pressure on the surface of this water. And then the water will be pressed and, uh, and pull out through this uh, straw. So this experiment is a perpetual motion with a horse. This is a horse, a certain tube. So let's pull the water in this bottle. Okay, still up. So how can we, this is empty, evacuate this one, it can't come. Let's try to you see when we give a little pressure to this us the water continue to, to come so it can evacuate the water from this water to this one. See the level? Diminishing. So the level is here now. So what happened? We have to evacuate the vacuum from this horse, from this tube. Then the pressure will pressurize, will be pressurizing on a surface of water. That's why the water can continue to pour in this. So here we are going to test the magnet characteristics. This is a spoon. These are paper clips. It can't attract. So here we have a little bit magnet. Let's try to, to pull in one direction. Not like this, but like this. like this. We are trying to magnetize this spoon so it can, can become magnet to attract other metal. See? It can attract. It can attract. It can attract. So how to to make this loose the capability of attracting. You do like this on a table. You shake and try it again. So it can't. Okay, here we have paper. I can cut. Or we can use even the newspapers. I can cut. I can wet this one to the water. Can wet it. Can wet it. It's okay, ready? 
and I can pour the water here. Okay, then I can put my pickles. Like this. And this. Then I can put my card. And a card you can find here. Okay. Then what will happen? I'm going to raise this one up. It will raise it or not? Let's see. Wow, we can raise it. 